anti-Israel protesters raised Palestinian flag on the statue of King Charles I and wave a uh, kefaye scarf around his his head. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's it, that's it right there. Bam. There's the flag. There's the, the thing in his head. That's King Charles I, right? I believe that would be uh, Elizabeth's dad, probably, right? Thousands of... Uh, what the... See, see, there. Who is this? Jim? Jim Hoff? Yeah, that's what I thought. They're still calling them Hamas supporters. Okay, uh, thousands of Hamas supporters. This is what he's saying. Palestinian supporters rallied Sunday in London, England, in support of the Palestinian people after the historic incident in Israel less than ten days ago. Yeah, you all were taunting them at the borders. That's what. That's what happened. Well, it's it's bizarre because like I, you know what I hear a lot of on, in the, in the comments, people are saying they can dance anywhere they want. That's their land, and I and I say I say you sound exactly like all those girls who dress all skanky and they go out and they're like I can wear whatever I want. I'm a woman, right? And then they get raped, and then you're like, oh, I'm such a victim, right? Yeah, you sound just like that. Yeah, sure, you can dance anywhere you want. Does it make it a good idea? Clearly, it wasn't. You know. That's stupid. The same people, the same people will complain when a scantily clad trans person is uh, hanging out loitering in front of a church. Hmm. That is public property now, right? They can do it legally. You know, they are covered up. At least the tips are, right? The tips and then, you know, the, 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 the Birkin in the lower area, right? Ah, just like a bikini. Anyways, um, there are still 120 captives. Okay, interesting. Uh, hummus supporters. I should call them hummus. Hummus supporters blame Israel for the slaughter, uh, including three, 300 Papa B. They keep saying that. They keep saying that, but there's, like, there's no indication of it. All I see on Twitter when you scroll through it are, are Palestinian homes destroyed, children buried in rubble, right? Um, yeah, go look it up. I, I haven't been doing that anymore because of how gory it's been. Okay? But you could just scroll, just just scroll up, just search up the hashtag, you know, Israeli Palestinian war, and then you'll find it all over the place. Protesters raid the Pali flag over the statue of King Charles I. Hilarious, by the way. Hilarious. Freedom of speech, right? Uh oh, they don't have that there. So I don't know. It's different over in uh, British land, right? Thousands of pro Pali protesters took to the streets in London following the greatest incident. But are you repeating? You're re repeating the same line over and over, right? Like Zion Media does right again here look at that same sentence here as uh up here bam same same sentence it's over and over and over the more you say it, the more people will believe it right god these guys learn well this is uh the gateway pundit guys the guys i depend on for actual news being absolutely one-sided and biased they barely wrote on the, the incident that happened in that one town between the landlord and the tenant, they barely wrote about it. I have to first report it from a different source and then came back to here. And then, oh, okay, they finally have it. But they didn't, uh, they didn't, they didn't, not a lot of details. No, it wasn't very thorough, you know? Uh, anyways, yeah, so uh, a lot of support for uh, the Pallies all across the world, by the way. Uh, in, uh, France and Germany have banned rallies for this country or this territory, whatever you want to call it. And uh, they are, now doing uh boom threats things like that in retaliation so um yeah is it uh oh yeah that's right uh, uh, an israeli who was wearing an israeli flag uh on him uh, was attacked at the rally like yeah well yeah go ahead and put yourself in danger again do it again bring a bring a music festival goer with you you know that's smart right I'm telling you, like they, they instigate this. You guys, the, the Israeli's intelligence operation, you know, the, their CIA is called Mossad, okay? The Mossad's motto is create war through deception, okay? That's not a coincidence that, oh, a lot of wars tend to be started by them. Meanwhile, they had no part of it, you know what I mean? They didn't, they, they had no, no, they put no money or troops on the ground when we went to Iraq, Afghanistan, nothing. Okay. They literally just tell us to do it, and then they, they have not, no involvement at all. Yeah. They literally hijack other countries and have them do it, is what they do. They probably have control of China right now. Oh, go ahead and invade Taiwan for no reason. 